Well, make no mistake, we are all lucky to live in Hawaii, but there is an unpleasant side to paradise. I'm talking about the bugs, all types of bugs, especially cockroaches, something that looks like this, which is really gross. <laughs> Ew. Luckily, I've got the bug doctor with me, Andy Nowinski. Hi, Andy. Hi. Pleasure Thank you for here. coming here. Thank you, you for having me. You brought us some goodies, and you're going yes. to give us a demonstration of how to safely eliminate all types of bugs in and around offices and yeah. homes. Basically, repelling them. Bugs are no different than us. We like food, water, and shelter. We don't even like to eat still food. So do bugs. Tell us about the things that we have on the table. Okay, what we have is repellents. So basically. Uh, one way not to attract them to your house is actually put yellow bug lights or amber lights on the outside These because kind of this way they will go to your neighbor instead of your house. Got it. Because looking in the light, they get blinded, they fall down, the ants come to it, the centipedes, all the crawling insects, and then from there, when they run out, they come inside. So basically, well, that's what we're trying to do. Uh -huh. Now, inside your house, there's certain things you can do. You can put uh, basically toilet bowl deodorant blocks. It comes with plastic or wire. And basically, you just rip it where it goes into the block and put it on all your sinks areas, your kitchen and bathrooms. And that what it, what it does, it creates a zone where they can't smell the food. Ah. So you're basically tricking them not to go underneath your sink. Got it. And because there's no food. The other thing is you take two mothballs, and we have lavender mothballs. We've got regular mothballs. And basically you can put it in your trash can before you put the liner on. They'll keep them out of there. The regular mothballs, you can put it in your trash receptacle on the outside. Every time they empty, you put four mothballs in it. That neutralizes and fumigates it from that area. Got it. Okay. Now, roaches and ants and all insects that are inside the house never, never spray. Because what you spray today, they are immune tomorrow. So it's for not. Yes, there's a residue, but also they are repellent. So the chemical choice to use would be 91% rubbing alcohol, which is a contact spray. So simply rubbing it. alcohol. 91%, not 91. 76, not 71. 91%. 91. And they, Got it. they sell it with a ready squirt bottle, and they, you can buy the refill. Works really, really good. Got it. So basically, that's your chemical of choice from now on. And you brought some spices? Yes, salt. I mean, this is pepper, white and black pepper. Those who live in homes, townhomes, and they got stray cats coming in, and they're using your yard as a bathroom. So what you do, you sprinkle black and white pepper where they defecate. They'll inhale that. It hits their sinuses. It's just like me spraying with pepper spray. Oh, You'll never come back. Interesting. It's natural. I'm very intrigued by the bounce sheet. The bounce sheet is basically one of the best repellents, especially if you travel. You women, you can put it underneath your collar or your uh, a scarf and half a sheet. Put it around your neck, half a sheet in each pocket, and around your ankle. You go on the plane, no bed bugs. Really? It repels them. They don't know you're there. But you carry on, you got to put some in each compartment so they don't go there. Okay. And also, this repels them mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. Oh, very So basically, if you go uh, hiking, the only thing you have to do is take one of those sheets. Put it inside your baseball cap, put your hat on, mm. nothing bites you here. That's a neat trick. Yeah. And you know what? I wish we could talk more because I really hate bugs and I would love to learn more. Yes. But tell us about an event happening this yes. Saturday. We have a, uh, a class called the Bug Doctor, What's Bugging You? at uh, Board of Water Supplies Air Escape. And I'm the, I've been doing this for several years now. And basically, we have a class twice a year, September and January. And it's always a full house. Ooh. And basically, this is not even one-fourth of what I bring to the table, because what I teach is show and tell. And it is common sense pest control. Mm. How to keep, you always trap your insects 
And Always this is idea. going to be at Halava Valley yes. Central Park Industrial Area this Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to noon. And they get to learn everything. Yes. You gave us a condensed version, but yeah. you're going to give way more. Oh, way more. Awesome tips. Yep. Yeah. And it's uh, everybody that has attended it, they love it because... They deal with roaches and bugs. I think we all do. And uh, they don't know how to control it because they call people to take care of it, but yet they still have a problem. Mm. My job is to teach them the habits of a bug. Know thy enemy. This way you have better control. Andy Nowinski, the bug doctor. Thank you so much for Thank coming you for in having and me. bringing the fake bugs, not the real ones. <laughs> Over to you, Lauren.